play that. Let's let's see how we can do without a, a script. I don't like Vroid. I know a lot of people are very defensive of Vroid because a lot of the times it's all that is there for people when it comes to streaming virtually, right? And that's fine. You don't need to pay hundreds of dollars or pounds. You don't need to make it yourself, especially if you don't know how to do it. However, since you have this, why why wouldn't I, I tell you ways and how you could take a V-Road model like this, even though it's on the more complicated side, and you can take it to the next level. For people who haven't even gotten to a stage where they're customizing their Vroid, um, even adding transparent textures if, if your model needs it, or having custom face and hair textures, eye textures, etc. If you're not even at that point, I don't know what to tell you because we're going to be doing a lot of that. So the things I want to go over is the hair, um, some things I have a problem with is the, the layering of hair, which is just flat pieces of, flat planes of hair. Um, when you have things like ponytails, they can start getting really empty and sad looking. Now, of course, I could have spent hours and hours in Vroid trying to make this thicker, trying to add random hairs here and there, but look. You could do so much more in so much less time in Blender. I promise you, it's so easy. Shape keys. Um, this is this is a big thing for me and Vroids. I can't do the shape keys. I really can't. This this big gaping mouth. It's it's not very appealing to look at. Um, the blink usually gets destroyed when you change the eye shape. Um, which is, is rather unfortunate because, you know, it's nice to have different eye shapes. Uh, what else? Uh, some of the emotes are just... You, they all look the same. And it's, it's really good and nice to have things that look different. We're going to be making your model more unique and more suited to your character and your personality and everything like that. Textures... Come on, come on, <laughs> with, with the limitations you have, a lot of your texture is going to be flat, and that is sad, a lot is sad. If you have a 3D model, why do you have flat textures? Why, why are your ribbons flat? Don't do that. You can do so much more in Blender. And you're going to end up with probably extra bones, an extra topology that you don't need. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take your Vroid, we're going to bring it to the next level with a very basic blender. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> you won't get confused. We can do this together, alright? We'll take this and change it into something new. See how much we can do, okay? Together. Hoi there, I'm Rain Hat. So let's get it, let's get it over and done with. Let's, let's, let's throw away all your doubt. Your V-Read sucks. I said it. There, I said it. Your V-Read sucks. You know why? It's because they all look the same. They all look like V-Reads. And even if you try really hard, it looks like this. 